All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to some Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Picking off pretty much right where we left off, maybe a few feet further ahead. Uh, they're now an intro after the bandits. I guess they're not. Well, I mean, they are bandits, though, but I mean, they're, they raided a uh, monastery the same as we fucking do, so I mean, <laughs> I guess Eivor's never heard that saying of. People in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. But, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, we're here because they stole some holy book. Which, once again, is something Eivor has done. Nope, Eivor, don't be a... Uh, Eivor, you're, you're being the... Uh, okay, and then there's a Goliath that I'll obviously want to take care of. There goes one guy, and you know what, since we're up here, I am going to take him and get rid of the body on the off chance that we hit a, uh, a shift change with the guards here. We got this guy, because even if this alerts the guards, that'll still be the strongest guy gone. Go. Tex. This opal apparently. The book should be here somewhere. Okay. Oh god, that fire made me think that there was like a there was a guy on his way here coming in, but nope. Let's go up here and we'll go around to get this guy. This is one of the man at arms guys. Another one that I would much rather not fight if I can help it. Now I think I saw a wealth symbol pop over here, but oh, maybe it was that one over there. I mean, we'll go check it out since we're over here, but... So these are used for fishing, right? They're just so that, like, I guess the fish get in there. I'm assuming they have a harder time getting out. I don't know why. They're fish. They swim. But maybe fish really have, like, a shit sense direction. I mean, if they didn't, it wouldn't have taken so long to find, find Dory, eh? All right. Got this thing here that we can move for. I mean, it has to be for some. Aha. Assuming the explosive is up here. It's a candle. Oh, I see. It's one of those. Now that should be far enough away. Ooh, that guy might be about to spot some enemies right there. Or some dead bodies right there. Don't know where he's going, but. Some clothing. We got some more tungsten. Have. Yeah, so. Okay, so he found the man at arms, it looks like. And then decided to search underneath where the guy was for the person who did it, which, to be fair, that makes sense. Didn't work out well for him, but I mean, I'll give him that. It did, in fact, make sense to, to look there. I hear who's all on his own, but I don't really have a good approach, thankfully. I do have a good shot at his head. Got two guys here where if I come through that gate, I should, in theory, learn a better way to come. That guy up there. Try and sneak around to him. I do in. Ooh, that. That be that should be fine then. Right? That guy. And 
this ladder and get this guy. And then, ooh, a wolfhound master, eh? Well, his wolf is down there, so I should be safe from it. I'm going to assume that the blue is the book. Although, that might just be the marker for the stashes. Can I not spot it? Through? I mean, I can't see it. No, I can't. There's something in the way. No, this should work, though. Yeah, I don't know what that red mark is, then. Oh, I see. They have a... Oh, I bet you I know what I have to do. Okay, well, that I can break. And then I need to blow up the wall. Which will then allow me to pop the lock. Alright. Chest, that chest. Oh, we got the deed to the trade post, so that's good. Got some more luxuries. Got a guy out on his own. And these two guys here seem to have left and split up for some reason. guy. We should actually just be able to axe throw to that one. He's right there. I can see my horse, though. Which you would think would be a clue, but apparently it wasn't enough of one. But hey, that's another section cleared. Still stealthing it, by the way. I'd like to point out. That dog I mean, it has to be, right? Nothing, then? I'm in combat with nothing, as it turns out. I want to go get this guy, because he's off on his own, but... At the same time, I'm supposedly in combat, so like, I don't know if that would be... I have to assume that that's the wolf that the other guy would have theoretically had with him. The gods won't want you. Yeah, see, and because I'm technically in combat. <laughs> that fucking dog is just gonna ruin ruin my day if uh, that keeps up. Some arrows. Who knows, maybe the other deed is here. Let's what I'm looking for. Can't get down. Ooh, there's something down below, though. Yeah, there it is. This guy's dog is really... There we go. Really fucking annoying. Hold it on, you coward. You think this hard? Dive. Nope. Nope. Don't know what made you come up, but fucking get your ass back down there. See, now once again, I feel like I got screwed by that dog. And also, apparently, physics don't work in here. Considering that this is clearly more than enough space for me to fit through, but I don't seem able to.
You know, that did make me lose, or did make them lose me, at least for a moment. Oh, come on. I can see the fucking chest right there, and this is clearly the way I'm supposed to go to get to it. But also, clearly, there's some kind of invisible wall there, which is always fun. don't want to come up quite yet because it seems like there's a lot of people that could very easily spot me as soon as I surface. Thankfully, Eivor can breathe for quite a while underwater. <sighs> Some of these are hard to tell whether or not they, they're like behind a wall. I will say that... Uh, the failure of stealth on this one is 100% not my fault. That dog was very clearly bugged out in some way. I don't like that they gave us enemies that have animals like that. I mean, it makes sense, obviously. People train dogs to fight all the time, especially back in these days, dogs and wolves and that. But... Just the detection range on the animals is a bit much. And it's not like the uh, the guys that they put them with are like weak dudes either, so. Let's see. Don't get in the, there we go, in the tall grass. So uh, I'm not counting that as being detected. I don't think that that was uh, fair on the game's part. If we can get some more guys to drop down here. I mean, this is very clearly a good hunting ground for these assholes. And like everything down here makes me basically invisible. One guy over there in that place, he doesn't seem to be detected because it looks like he's sitting at a table. Maybe even sleeping at a table. Oh. Nope. Oh. Wow, I just barely pulled off that assassination. That has to be, like, as close as you can get to being detected without actually being detected right there. Like, there is no way that you can get closer to that and not be detected. Like, it was the longest between... Oh, yeah, there's some armor. We finally found a different kind of well. That was, without a doubt, the longest between somebody spotting me and me getting to them and killing them. That I have ever been. Good. Another one. Is an idiot. Okay, one more ping just to make sure. But I think I just have that guy. And. Well, it actually, looks like I just have that guy. So, I mean, even if I do get detected at this point. Not like it makes too big of a difference. Oh, this is where they train, apparently. Alright. Okay, well, that's clearly where the book's gonna be. I mean, that looks like it's about to be some kind of fucking boss fight there. Okay, well, don't know how you hit that and not the thing in front of it, but whatever. Oh, oh nice, more delicacies. Now the question is, though, is do I spend the... Or, there's an ally in there, okay. Do I spend the delicacies to get the altar and therefore the mystery done? Or do I save the delicacies... Oh, there is another. Oh, that was the guy that was sleeping. Or do I save the delicacies to trade? Oh, that's the one that I can't fucking get to, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 
that's the one I can't reach. I might have to look that one up at some point. And, uh, and see what's up with it. Okay, so we got the armor. Okay, so I'll throw that one. Come on. Uh, I guess we'll bust through here. I do like how even breaking that shit, it can set off the lightning. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't break more shit. Celtic bracers. I'm going to. Ass oh wow, are they really like the lowest grade ever? Oh yeah, there's a fucking dead guy. Well, not quite the lowest grade, but you know, right next to it. Got one. Actually, that one looks like it's a little bit outside of the fog. I guess it's in this tower here. Can't climb. Eivor, what is your issue right now? Can't get up on the railing. I know you can do it. There we are. I, I hear voices right now, and I don't know if... I, I doubt that you guys can. But I can't tell... Like, if it's actually somebody talking in real life, or just like, I can hear a TV downstairs or something, you know? I'm not saying that, like, it would be weird if it's a TV. I mean, like, I know I'm not, like, I'm not home, like, I don't think I'm home alone or anything. Oh, well, that's, I mean, you stood on it for a second, Eivor. Is there a reason you couldn't just stick to it? Over, 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 there we are. This actually took a little bit longer than I expected to, to get through, but it is a pretty fucking big... I wonder, did they ever actually have bandit camps this big at any point? Because it seems unreasonably large to not be dealt with. Oh, it's this dickhead. Ah! Oh! It's you. It's you. Uh, thought we told you to leave, Thorstein. Ah, uh, leave Dublin. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but <laughs> this is not Dublin. You did not understand you were not to be seen again. Oh, come now. How was I to know you would find your way out here? Why are you here? Looking for a book you stole. You raided a monastery recently. Oh, it was several monasteries, actually. These new friends of mine do not tire easily. The book is important to the Christians. I need it back. The Christians? Ha! <laughs> See? You are an Irish lapdog. <laughs> I, I... I do not have it. Are you upset? <laughs> Please do not be upset. <sighs> you are upset, though. I am running out of reasons to let you live. Ah. Uh. I know where it is. Fine tombs. Some strange folks offered me this hoard for it. I could not resist. Could you? See? You understand. We are very alike, you and I. I, I could just as well be your brother. I Do not kill me. Thorstein, your blood is not worthy of my steel. I could not agree more. Now vanish. I mean it this time. A third encounter you will not walk away from. Oh, I am through with Ireland. My ankles ache for how I must dance around all of these kings. It offers nothing. Except for this. I will just take this. And this. <laughs> I mean, whatever, dude. I'm not gonna fucking haul it back anywhere to where I live, so take whatever the fuck you feel like. And I don't get to go back in. Well, fuck me, do. Oh, and that treasure is actually just outside of it. All right. Someone in Boing Tombs, eh? Well, I'm assuming this is where the druids part of this is going to come in. Because, I mean, it's got to happen sooner or later, right? Yeah. 
go. Some more clothing. Alright, where the fuck is Boing 2? It's way over there. Alright. So I will try one more time to get this. Maybe, not that it makes much sense, but maybe now that we are detected we'll be allowed to get it. So it doesn't make any sense, but neither does the fact that I can very clearly see, or very clearly not see, I guess, if I wanted to be more accurate. Just like a uh, empty hole here that I can't seem to get. So let me just do a quick googly here. Uh, let's see. Oh, hello. Intro underwater chest. Uh, ah, here we are. Uh, wow, really? Um, uh, no, that's not it. Do I really have to? You know what? I shouldn't have to. Here, go go to IGN. They're usually their their wealth things have been fairly fairly good to me. Oh, although this is like a minor wealth chest, so that's not even like a. All seven. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll uh, I'll break down here. I'll do the YouTube video and see because uh, this specifies intro. So, I mean, okay, I'll just see. Just quickly scrub through the video. That's him gathering armor. Uh, Okay, good. Just making sure he's still in the intro. Good, good. Okay, that one we got. That's a tungsten ingot. Now the issue is that he might only go for like major wealth and not... Yeah, that's that one. Yeah, let's see. Uh, that... If that's the one we're going for or not. No, that's that one. All right. Yeah, I think he might just be going for the major wealth things. Oh, well, wait, hang on. There we go. I see him underwater. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a. It's a different underwater, though. Okay, so they went underwater at a very different location to get to that one. I feel like they went underwater not here. I mean, it would have to be from behind somewhere, right? I mean, that would be only thing that would make sense because they seem to go down like fairly close to it. Ah, mm -hmm. I think. Oops. Oh, I have a feeling that I might. Oh, there you go. This pool, maybe. Yes, here we go. The other side of it. So, yeah, something is definitely up with that because obviously you should be able to reach it from either side, but we well, didn't get anything out of the chest itself, but we did get some luxuries out of the chest next to it. Alright, uh, well, it would be faster for me to go from here. And while we're here, we can check to see if that other one, the storage upgrade was 100. Because I don't remember, I think the, uh, the arrow and rations one was, but 
storage one I'm not so sure of. I do like, though, how you get stuff from the trade places, and then you can also, and then when you trade that in, you get stuff to upgrade the trade place. So that is nice. Increase the storage capacity for your chest in Dublin. Yes. And the only reason I want to do it is because, A, we get to see what it looks like. There we go. It's a storehouse. I mean, not really expect much else. Now, I'm going to assume since this one specifically gives us clothes and they say it trades fur and dye cloth, that the other ones might look different. Like the other one that we did get the deed to. Um is supposed to do text, I do believe, so trade books. So that one's storehouse should be honestly closer to a library than a storehouse, but you know, whatever. But anyway, on to our next next group of uh, book thieves here. I'm also going to assume at some point that we run into Thorstein again. Um, now he did say that he was leaving Ireland, but I mean, whether or not he actually oh, does, I don't know. Thorstein said I would find the Book of Kells here. Okay. Oh, we got uh, I really hope he said blocked and not locked, because if he said locked, it's a, I don't think you're getting through that with a key. Well, depends on what you consider a key. Oh, also, this guy's a sickle. There is an achievement. <laughs> That 100% had to have been the pig. Oh. Alright, well, I mean, that's fine. I'll be down here. I mean, thanks, buddy. An underground cavern. Whoever these people are, they're secretive. Probably could have popped that one from outside. Didn't even think to try, but hasn't been working for me lately, so. Up here. That actually doesn't get me behind that guy. This does, though. Oh, right, the achievement. Uh, there is an achievement to equip a sickle in both hands. So, I mean, that means that we get at least two sickle-type weapons. That is a weird-looking key. And some more trade goods. A little bit more clothing. Man, get a lot of fucking clothing in those. I mean, I guess they are keeping them in a chest like that. I like I'd keep my clothes in a chest like that. That'd be cool. Well, clearly not getting both of these guys unless I find an angle. <laughs> he, okay, no, he didn't actually spot me. But he did spot me enough for that to happen, so. And there we go. I shall check. There is a loot up there, and one up there, and one over there. Alright, wow, there's... Okay, well, obviously I'm not getting to that one right now. Uh, you know what? We'll just keep going forward for now. Looks like I got this loot over here. There's another piece of armor, so that's good. I'm going to assume that these armor pieces... Druidic armor. Okay, so there is going to be more than just the one... Well, then, maybe the... Uh... The one that's for the achievement is none of these. I mean, that could very easily be. You know, there's the book. Although now I am curious as to what the druid armor is going to give us. Uh, some health is restored after three hits on the same enemy, and additional increase to melee damage and poison build up resistance. That's not bad. Three hits on the same enemy and you get health? I mean, that's pretty fucking good if enemies lasted three hits. Uh, what is this? Increase attack when taking damage, additional increase to melee damage and melee resistance. That's also not bad. I mean, that is very much a tank armor right there. 
Not to get out of this ghastly grotto. Uh, because yeah, that's just you know what it hit me, bro. It's just gonna make me stronger. And then you can just like fucking tear through them all. Oh. Oh, what did we get that? A flower. Okay. No. I know that the bell wouldn't ding because it's sitting on the ground, but I mean. I was hoping for a little bit of video game logic there. Okay, so we still have a couple of wealth things. The lower one I have no idea how to get to. That could very easily be a, uh, a different entrance entirely to this place. Uh, I'm going to backtrack, though, just to see what's up. My eyes on the walls and the ceiling. I mean, who knows? Maybe I can even just just move it. Nope, because I have to squeeze through. Therefore, I do, in fact, have to move it from the other side. Oh, well, no. It lets me here. It doesn't let me actually interact with it to move it, though. It's interesting that it lets me through. All right. Figured out that cave. Uh... Okay, where are we? Oh, okay, I was here before. A bit. Oh, well, would you look at that? They've got traps. Good for them. So, I wonder if enemies can set them off. It wouldn't be surprising if you, uh, alerted enemies and then they walked into their own traps okay, and then that's where I would have came out the other way okay that's fair enough now unfortunately we still have that fucking boar and that druid for some reason has Stun damage on him. Yeah, I saw the pig. Yeah. Fucking animals, man. Like I said if it wasn't for the animals insane detection range, it wouldn't be bad that the enemies had them with them, but it just makes stealth like unreasonably difficult at times. Because there's no good way to uh, to take them out, I mean. There's that one. Ooh, some more delicacies. Now we did have one more chest here. And I have to assume that there's just another entrance to go through to get it, because I saw... Although, if there was another entrance... Uh, I mean, another entrance both does and doesn't make sense. It does make sense, obviously, because we didn't find a way while we were down there, but at the same time, it doesn't make too much sense because there was a way into the other area from there, you know? But I guess if the entrance was going to be up in this camp somewhere, that would, might track. They have a lot of explosives. Oh! Uh, I think that's the hole that they actually dropped me down. So it shouldn't be that. Um, I guess we'll check it anyway. Maybe I missed something when I first fell down here. Because obviously this isn't... Hang on. Got an itchy ear for some reason. Because oh. obviously that's not the way I came up, so... Okay, and then this is just... 
yeah, I mean, I had to have missed something, right? Traps, you got weird spike things. Also, was it just that? Wow, I missed a door. And that was it. It was just a full on door there that I missed. All right. Is that everything here? Sure looks like it. All right. Back to Duro we go. The circle wasn't filling up, but it turns out eh, it's fine. It was still good. God, it's hot in here. Slightly regretting going for the second video. But you know, it's Friday, so I got off work early. It's only quarter after four right now. I still have about an hour before I gotta maybe get some supper going, but I'm regretting it a little bit. The books. Have you found it? Its popularity is ever increasing. This is Owen, Abbot of Armagh. The book is for him. I remember from the coronation. That's one shiny ass book. I pray you did not have to endure much to reclaim this. A small prize to ensure the High King's patronage. What's this? Lord, you are chosen High King by God Almighty. These are pagans. I, I mean no disrespect. You have no say here. This is between two kings. I only mean to warn Flan of the possible implications. Nothing more. And I am well aware of them, Abbot. I have spoken past what is right. I will take my leave. Lord, please excuse this clumsy intrusion. No need. I am glad to see the book is back in good hands. He is colorful. I do not blame the abbot for raising alarm. History dictates he has every reason to. What is your report? I have dealt with the leader in the bark. He will have no more problems coming out of Dublin. Then we shall turn our eyes to the problem at hand. Ulster is using its power to sway Connacht. An allegiance that must be snubbed before it takes flame. For that, we need to gain support from the other kingdoms. Speak with Kira. She will guide you in this. I shall return to Dublin to gather men and resources for the march. I welcome them. When we are strong enough, we will meet at Knock Free and devise a strategy. Okay, so Kiara is going to be the new Ranby. What happened? The book was in the hands of a strange cult. They procured it from Thorstein. I was weak to spare him. My own son knew better. Chin up, Vardy. You have come into favor with the High King. I will feel better the day Flan's trust in me is not shadowed by doubt. Back to Dublin I go. Talk to Kira. We must gain favor with the other kings, quickly. All right. Let's see here. We'll go and chat with her, but we won't start another... We won't start another arc. Because that would obviously take way too long. And then we can start the new arc next week. And I realized, after I already said it though, that the uh, that when I ended the last part, I said see you next week. Even though obviously, you know, we have today left. Hello, Eivor. I am glad to see you. I reckon Flan and Barith have found common ground, seeing as you're still here. They have. Ara, and how much of your charm seeped into that conversation? I merely showed the High King I'm a Norse he can trust. It is more than that. You've certainly left your mark here. Sure, I think Flan is fond of you. Mm. Is he the only one? <laughs> You're not shy, are you? Just perceptive. We need to curry favor with as many kingdoms as we can. 
Lon said you could help with that. Aye. The kings of Ireland have long sent their grievances to the High King's court in hopes their pleas be heard. Their problems range from petty squabbles to larger issues. I've taken the liberty of sifting through them, choosing the ones that might elicit the best response. I see. The bigger the favor, the bigger the reward. There you have it. Keep an eye out for pigeon poops. That's where I'll leave any noteworthy tasks. Help solve their woes, and the kings will pay tribute with the men and supplies we need to invade Ulster. Okay. Check out Duro's pigeon coop. Sorry. So yeah, now these are the royal missions or whatever. You got to do ten of them for an achievement. But these are when they bring back the uh, well. I guess they're not sync bonuses, but the royal demands. That's what it is. Um, earn trade post supplies. Ooh, that's good. Uh, kings, please are optional objectives given by the kings. Complete them to earn double rewards per objective. Okay. So I decree that death shall be retribution for my nephew's murder. That's fair. He was to inherit the throne. A band of thieves and cutthroats are behind this. They have long proven a thorn in our royal paw. Uh, take it back. May the Lord reign fury on those. Guilty one is a fearsome bandit. The group of nefarious bandits. Okay, so that gives us text. And the rest of it gives us upgrade rewards. Ooh, but the rest of it gives us trade post supplies. Whereas this one just gives us text. Well, right now we need trade post supplies. This seems Raider Tent bonus inactive. Build the region's Raider Tent to earn double rewards on all royal demands. That's interesting. Um, okay, well, you know what? We've. I'll take this one because it seems like. Oh, I can just take them all? Alright, well, fuck it. Multiple quests accepted. Damn right. Now then, let's check it out. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, here we are. Uh, remain undetected to re while recovering the royal jewelry. Uh, do not take damage and no unessential kills. Okay. Band of thieves and cutthroats. They okay, well, I mean... Does that mean like no killing in between or like once I reach there no killing? Because if it's once I reach there that should be fine because it says a band of thieves. I can't imagine that there's specific ones in the band he wants me to kill. And this one is do not take damage which should also theoretically be easy. But we're going to restore the trade post first. Uh, I guess I can't fast travel there until I restore it. But that's fine. Uh, we'll just pop down here. But I am curious, right? Because since it's like open world, like uh, obviously they're more or less the same as the sync objectives. Uh, for the achievement, you do not need them. Uh, I'm a, well, although it, I was going to say for the influence gain, you probably don't need them. But it does say it doubles all rewards if you accomplish them. Um, but now the question is, is if you have one that has two, like that one does, uh, does that only double if you get them both? Does it double and then double again if you do them both? Uh, you get like half as much again if you only manage one? Like, I'm honestly curious. Now, supposedly for the ten... For the achievement, uh, there's one of them, I don't know which one, uh, that you can do that has you clearing out a bandit camp, and then once you've cleared it out, you can then get the exact same quest again, and then when you go back there, obviously it'll still be cleared out. Okay, so let's build the Liz Duro trade post. like the exact same guy. Okay, so this supply depot, quiver and rations. Okay, so that's, I'm assuming, going to be in all of them. And then the storehouse will also probably be in all of them. No, workman's cottage increases production. Okay. And where's this one? 
and the storehouse. All right, so that one has those three things in it. And then they build a pigeon coop. Gives us one text a minute, which makes sense. We have one more trade post way out here. I kind of want to, yes, you know what? Let's go check it out. Because I am interested in this band, like, bandit camp for the area thing. It's interesting that we build a bandit camp because that seems kind of counterintuitive to gaining favor with the High King if we're slapping down bandit camps, but I thought, well, and I guess it still might be true that maybe it'll be an upgrade in one of the trade posts, but I mean, it like it kind of makes like the upgrades they have for the trade post makes sense to be in every trade post you know because every trade post is going to produce something you get the one upgrade that doubles how much you produce which granted just makes it two instead of one but it's still double um and i guess depending on how many trade posts there are that might be really worth it uh and then obviously you can store more and then it uh becomes a resupply point for you so, I mean, like, all of those upgrades make sense to be in every one, but. Uh, I am still interested in this raider tent thing. Because I don't know where else, like, I don't know where else you would build that besides in a supply depot. I mean, now, granted, a raider tent in a supply depot doesn't really make much sense, but. I guess it depends on where you're getting your supplies from, right? Uh, I mean, to be fair, the Raider tank could also be a resupply point for you. I'm assuming this is knock-free that we're going past. Whoops. Almost cancelled the follow road there. Yep. Still keeping my eye out for the ch for the rundown church with the uh, the snake in it. I haven't seen it yet, but like I said, I have no idea where it is in relation to anything else. So also, I don't think that I want to be down here for it. I mean, to be fair, it would make sense if the trade post would be along the road. Yeah. same time now I guess that one it would be less defensible to be at the base of a cliff instead of the top of one and we're going for defense over accessibility as it turns out okay, so obviously we're not who the fuck's oh really Fucking animals, man. Now, you see how fucking far away that stupid wolf thing got me from? I say got me from, obviously it didn't get me at all, but there also seems to be no other enemies here besides wolves, so. <sighs> fucking hate animals in these games. Dealt with quite a few of them. <laughs> Gonna come and get me, boy? Oh, well, look at you go. Okay, so. I mean, to be fair, I guess our bird isn't even coming to loot these guys. Already. So either they are, either the bird really is bugged out, so much so that it doesn't even show up here. Or it's, uh, just not a thing in Ireland, but that really doesn't make sense. It's a good thing that the bird isn't super important to anything we 
been doing so far. I mean, obviously it would be useful to find some of our objectives, but I mean, and to be fair, I guess we don't necessarily, or we might not necessarily have to leave to find the, the deed for this place. I mean, this one was taken by wolves. So, I mean, there could just be a dead guy clutching the deed somewhere. I am not seeing any objectives here popping up. Uh, uh, I mean, to be fair, I guess the outpost does extend slightly. I mean, there are some buildings on the outside of the wall. That I guess we should check out. Although it does immediately can or change our objective. <laughs> I can blend in, really. Okay, so clearly it's not outside. Uh, we can't get inside though. Not seeing any markers pop up at all. Could be something in there, but I'm not seeing. Is that a breakable? No. It looks kind of breakable, but I guess it's not. Here, nothing. And here it does let us go around to here, but that's about it. This way is. Really nothing there. Uh, can't go that way, but that makes sense. Can get in there from the other way. Not seeing anything here. I missed like a maybe one of the wolves had. I mean that would really well I guess it would make as much sense as anything else that we find. It's obviously the way out, and when we go out it pulls us back in. So clearly our objective is in here. That, just that. Well, really, just so that it's lit. I mean, clearly there's got to be a way inside this portion of wall if there's an area back there, and that would be my best bet in a in there would be my best bet of finding where the deed is, or quite possibly the deed itself. But I'm not seeing, and obviously we're really far away from, okay, I don't know why you put your torch down. That's just a tree that leads over. Um, No, nothing there, nothing there, though it looks like this is going to be another, because it even says died in the wool, so odds are this is going to be another clothing one, which is something of a shame, we've got an opal, so more clothing, makes sense, all things considered. Okay, my only other... thought is if our objective is to investigate the, that place mm -hmm. that does lead me to believe that like we like we, like we 
whatever we need is in here. Now the other one, once we got close enough, it switched to a, it switched to an actual quest marker that it showed us. So, I mean, like right there, it looks like we could go in if the ground wasn't in the way, which I guess to be fair, we could get in anywhere if the wall wasn't in the way. So, about how much sense that made. Um, but yeah, I mean, we got cliffs all around. But I mean, do I really want to jump down there and search the cliffs for a new entrance into here? Because I mean, that seems like a lot of them seem awfully far down for that to be the answer. Like, not seeing any other options though. Like, I'll take one more lap around the top of the wall. Just to see what I can see. I'll go a little bit slower this time. Just to see if there's like any breakable boards. Maybe like any dead people holding a deed would be kind of easy but you know check the roof but that also seems kind of easy for it to be true um yeah i mean i got nothing here i mean it says to investigate i've looked everywhere that's currently possible to me the only thing i could think of would be climbing down the cliffs and looking for an entrance there, but that seems... It just doesn't seem like it would be useful. Now, what the hell trade post is this? This is Drumlish. Um... Uh, drum... Alright, um, uh, yeah, yeah, eliminate them full of wolves, okay. So, apparently. Also, do I actually have the quest marker now? I do. It's up in the tree. All right. That's what I was about to say is apparently it's up in the tree, which, I mean, I guess is fair, but at the same time, I mean, they've never put anything up in a tree before. Uh, be leaving the deed in knock free. Now, granted, that doesn't give us too much information, but it does tell us at least the general location of it. Also, I realize I just set fire to a place that I'm planning on not really purchasing, per se, but... The phone hasn't went off. We've almost been going for an hour. But we'll quickly go and grab this and build the trading post. Just to see if Raider Tent is one of the things. And if it's not, I won't be surprised, but then I still will be very curious as to where it might be. Now, see, I didn't close that, did I? No, good. Excuse me, there is a message for you. Excuse me, there is a message for you. All right. So uh, uh, all I have to do actually is it's next to one of these chests. So, yay. Not that one though. 
I know it's not that one because it was not hard enough to get to. Whoops. Don't make me hold B to fucking go back, alright? There it is. Be that blue marker should be anyway. Let's climb up this side so we can actually get up. And boosh. Fortunately, with no dedicated jump button, Eivor, I know, is going to be a real fucking prick about this. There we go. Okay, there's the deed. There's treasure. And I know that there's more loot to be had here, but we're hit, we've hit an hour, so I just want to uh, head back and quickly build it up so we can check that. And then obviously, you know, the longer it's built, or since we get a certain amount per minute, should probably go back as well and see uh, just how much we can actually get. Or how much our chest can actually hold. Because if it isn't a whole lot, right, I'll need to know so that I can go back and check it periodically, maybe even set a timer since I'll know how much I'll be gaining per minute, right? And then I'll know like every however many minutes to go and get it. Hopefully you have enough. Because in the other Assassin's Creed games, it wasn't really... Like you did... I don't know. Like as you got more stuff, obviously, like your chest would always fill up at the same rate. Like it would always take like so long for your chest to fill up every time. But just how much actually fit in the chest would change. So like as you gained more income, your chest could hold more income, right? So like every, let's say, hour, I don't know if it was an hour. If you went and checked it, that's when it would be full, no matter how much it could hold. Raider Tent offers shelter to landless Vikings willing to provide protection for the post and trade routes when built. It will provide bonus rewards for royal demands. Boom. There it is. All right. And then the workman's cottage increases goods production. And then storehouse. Yes. Okay, so then this one has the Raider Tent instead of the resupply. But there is also the possibility that you can resupply as well. Oops, not what I wanted. Um, so we'll go, we'll see how much my chest can hold, we'll see what we can turn in. Children of Danu are divided into lords and high druids. Alright. I'm assuming those are the, uh, the cultists that we fought. We have four mysteries in a lot of fucking artifacts. All right. Well, I mean, we know that at least one of those artifacts is a tattoo, and I mean, odds are there's more than one. I'm actually glad that that the story, whatever the history lesson, is considered a uh, an artifact because that means that that it should be at least a few of those. Okay, so I can hold 240 of those and a hundred of those, so I get. I should be getting three clothing and one book a minute. So, I mean, we got plenty of time to fill that up. I mean, obviously it'd take like, what, a little bit, hour and 40 minutes to get to fill up books. So, I mean. All right. Ah, my business partner, illuminated gospels have arrived from Listero, thanks to the new trade post you claimed. I'm impressed. You doubted me. I meant the manuscripts. The crafting is magnificent. Care to indulge in profitable commerce? All right, let's see. Uh, can we get any more of the armor sets? Well, I mean, we have 240 of those, so we definitely got enough clothing. And we got enough books for that. Uh, we don't have enough books for that, though. Enough delicacies for that. 
got enough books for this, so we'll pop that in there. Pop in the other clothing. And then do we still have enough? We sure do. Delicacies. And there we go. And I guess, you know what, we may as well just pop the other clothing in there as well. And the luxuries. Uh, what is this? An Iberian Six. Temporarily increased critical chance after your dodge. Alright. So I'm wondering then, is this going to be all of the trade contracts? Because that's we'll not a whole lot, all that. things considered. Now granted, oh, Ireland isn't huge. So I mean... Oh, we've leveled up. Oh, now I might have some more, actually, now that it's actually leveled up. Dublin's renown is increased. Ooh, we unlocked Egypt contracts, eh? Oh, that's it. Dublin champion braces. I think that's the that's the achievement armor. Because I do believe that champion was in the title. Okay, let's speak with him again. Ah, Eivor. A welcome vision for my eye. Azar, I'm curious to know how you came to Ireland. It is not an altogether happy story. I was once the most powerful trader in Shiraz. Then I was betrayed. Ah, that is hard fortune. By my partner. Worse still. A knife to the back is a wound that never heals. Constantinos was a friend of my father's. One whose greed devoured my family and empire. But now I am here, where I am surrounded by new friends. We are pleased you found us. Many kingdoms desire to trade for our goods. Okay. Did he a sovereign? Okay, so this will be the Egyptian ones. Yeah. Increases attack during the day. Well, that's an interesting armor set. And we got tattoos. An Anubis statue. Uh, that's the helmet. Uh, more tattoos. And what did they give us? An Egyptian Kopesh, eh? Make your weapon after critical hits. Alright. I will leave all those blank right now. Uh, I do believe that these two are the last two from the original set we had, right? Yeah, because this starts the Egyptian armor, so cool. So I will try and finish those before I trade Enough in any of the today. Egyptian stuff. Um, Farewell, Eivor. Alright, so let's see, because we got the champion bracers. Increase to range damage and stealth damage, and then an additional increase. Alright, so they're clearly stealth focused. That's the Iberian helmet. Iberian breaches. We actually have a full armor set now. Uh, I don't really feel like upgrading it because that seems like a hassle. What's the crack? Can I help you? Uh, I would like so to see what we will do start. though, so that we can see the full set, because I do believe that the Iberian stuff does not change, correct? That was the one we looked at. Okay, here, we'll start here actually. Uh, Dublin Champion does get new appearance though. Uh, the Celtic Bracers also do, that's good. But the Iberian ones do not, so we'll leave those, we'll upgrade the other two though. Uh, once we get more of the set, because I'd like to just upgrade You'll it all. Oh, else. I keep forgetting that it's the menu. Scores. Um, I also don't know why you'd want to downgrade your whatever. Um, where is it? Thane? No, no. St. George, Magister. Where the fuck is it? Mentor, Brigandine, Brigandine. Raven Clan. Can I not do this with the new stuff? I guess I have to actually like equip it, equip it. I can't just change its appearance. Well, that's now, a, is it? Well, that's a real I fucking later, shit then. show. Okay, well, let's see what it looks like then. And that's. Do I not have it? Am I just an idiot and when I didn't get the uh I didn't get the cloak? Alright, why not? You're welcome here. Kind friend. of a weird ending to a Would video like to me flailing about to see what the fuck armor I have. 
the appearance. Scroll all the way down. Yeah, there it is, Liberian Oak. Appearance. Also have like no fucking runes in like any of this freaking any of Thor's armor here. I may have to switch to my original armor set just to uh just so that, you know, I actually have some fucking shit attached to it, you know? And I know that we got the weird helmet, because it's this one. But we really didn't get a cloak. Look at you now. Powerful. Sure. I'm off. Be well, friend. Oh god, the mask actually makes an echo. Was the cloak really one of those? Why hello, Eivor. Drumlesh has joined our trade network. Their dyed cloth is among the finest. They are able to produce the seven royal colors. Where I come from, dye is used for tattoos. In Shiraz as well. Here, Drumlesh cloth will brighten any heart. I always enjoy the dance of trade. Yep, sure enough, there it is. Alright, I'm an idiot. Enough. I look forward to your return. Okay. Well, I don't mind the rest of the set, but obviously the helmet has to go. Um, but I will probably be changing back to my... Uh, what was the Thane set? Critical Chance of Repairing and Critical Damage. I also had the Brigandine set, Surrounded by Enemies. Oh yeah, then the Gothic set that I never actually finished purchasing. So yeah, I'll change my armor, uh, but I'll probably go back and keep the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. But I'll go back and switch it to the, uh, so that it looks like the other one again, because I didn't mind that. But thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you next week for more.